What's going through your mind during the Music City Miracle? And did you guys practice that play? Well, yeah, the history behind it. Before that year, for 10 years or so, what we had on our team that we practiced every Saturday was we called the Stanford Cal team. Okay, yeah. the Stanford Cal play. So you get everybody that can handle a football, left-handers and right-handers, and then you just kick the ball off, and they just try to keep the ball alive and push it down the field. And as we go through the course of the season, we would add defenders. So, you know, you could score against three guys, and then you, by the end of the season, you got ten guys. It's a fun thing. So uh, Alan Lowry, our special teams coach, came to me prior to the 9-9 season. He goes, hey, come look at this tape. He goes, I found this way back this summer on my vacation, and it was a play that happened at Texas against Texas A&M or who, somebody back in the 70s. And and uh, it was kind of kind of designed that way where the kick went to one side and then threw back the other and da-da-da. So we actually put it in, and yes, we did practice it. But the funny part of the story was, uh, so we practiced it every Saturday. So when when they, when Christy makes the kick and there's a TV ter- timeout, I turn to Alan, he turns to me, we, we simultaneously say, home run throwback. I go, yep. And so, okay, where's Mace? And so Derek Mason was our guy, okay? He was the deep guy. He should have been the Kevin Dyson, okay? Mason has a concussion. The trainer says, Coach, he has got a concussion. He's in the next week someplace. I go, okay. Well, then the next guy, the backup, was Anthony Dorsett Jr., okay? Anthony Dorsett was cramping up mm-hmm. when I called for him. So I grabbed Dice, and I said, did you pay attention on Saturday? Home run throwback. He goes, Coach, I, I, no, I'm not really. I didn't pay attention. I said, okay. Hey, all you got to do, stay to this side of the field and make sure you are five yards behind the ball, period, outside the numbers. That's uh-huh. all you got to do. He goes, I got you, coach. So, you know, the five-yard thing turned into five inches. I was going right? to say, uh-huh. he definitely yeah. didn't do that right. Yeah, no, but it was, I got you, coach. So so we didn't work on the kick that, that low caught. Every kick that we worked every Saturday was a deep left, deep right, hard squib, but hard squib to all different guys, but it wasn't a bloop. Yeah, we right. never worked on that and random bloop kick. And so Lowe had the presence of mind to get it and like, I don't want it. Yeah. Got rid of it, no, got it to that's Frank. That's the most fullback move of all time. Yes. Lorenzo O'Neal gets yes. the ball and he's yes. like, I don't want it. I'd rather block somebody. Yeah. Yes, I don't want this right now because <laughs> yeah. I don't know what to do with it, right? Mm-hmm. Except get it to Frank. Yeah. So he gets it to Frank, and I kind of I'm standing there watching this thing come. Oh man! And then as soon as he got it to Frank, and then I see Kevin kind of on the side. I can see across the field, Frank. I'm kind of where Frank is, and I when Frank throws the ball to Kevin, I can see Byron Boston, okay, the head linesman, point backwards. And I knew that, that he was calling it a ladder on the field. So I saw his hand go backwards. So, okay. And so now I'm kind of hopping down the sideline going, come on, get out of bounds, Kevin, get out of bounds. And I go, oh, shit, no, score. You know, kind of that thing. <laughs> right. They scored. So. And so then, you know, the, the, the part of the story that's not told is so, you know, it all goes to replay and everything. And the world is a mess. I mean, the stadium's a mess. To this day, you'll find 200,000 people that say they went there and there was only 60,000 people. Right. There. But so in my mind, I'm doing the math and we're up by five. Right. Or maybe four, whatever it was. But I got to go for two. Okay, the most elementary chart in the world, go for two chart, says go for two. I didn't think we could execute a play offensively once the ruling came back, stays on the field. Right. So I said, what are the odds of this happening again in my mind? I said, screw it, we'll just kick the extra point. They brought the ball out across midfield to end the game. Uh-huh. <laughs> you know one talks about no, that. No, no, uh, no one's paying uh, attention. Oh, that game that wasn't point. over till it was oh, over for man. me.